Hello, what is up guys? I'm your host The Rave and welcome to another video of the Red Nuts. So at the previous video of my Gravis first look, let's take a look at Gravis. Where's my Gravis? Yep, my previous video of Gravis first look. Viewers told me that I should play it much more aggressive, which I'm about to try it out today with a little tweaking with my Gravis. First of all, I've upgraded the Plasma Broadside to the next level instead of the uh, Scattergun Broadside. And I got my uh, Vulture Missiles on stock. And everything is technically on stock. I'm planning for a armor amplifier, but I don't think that it is much necessary because the warp jump is pretty far away and I think it is appropriate. So without further ado, let us play some games. And we are game. Okay. So I think I'm with a couple of people over here playing on the AI, but never mind about that because sometimes I kind of thought of that AI is actually stronger than the real people. There are several times I play in AIs I kind of lost and I kind of feel embarrassed and I realized that after the updates, the AI is kind of getting much more powerful. So yeah, nowadays I don't think playing with AI is weak anymore, so well, let us uh, give it a try. Even though for uh, to me, up till today, for uh, the Corvettes of the AI is still pretty weak because they just sneak up behind without dodging and there it goes. Right, let's see how aggressive we can go with that. I mean, take a look at that. The Corvette would just come in your face and just take damage. i just put the shields up a little bit. Oh, I should have used Broadside Ballistic. Oh, actually, I can Broadside right now and not hitting anything. Alright, the Blink Strike is actually pretty effective. I just got a cis point, pretty embarrassed, okay. But never mind about that. So far I have been playing Gravis the chicken way. What I mean by chicken way is that I'm always behind her launching vulture missiles and don't really have the chance to use my broadside. So this will be pretty much the very first time of me like rushing into the battle zone without knowing what's gonna happen. But uh, I don't see my comrades as coming for the backup though. Vouchers missiles going out hot Shields up because shield consumption is pretty low and I think the moment when the shields down I can technically Kill kill that dude And for some good reason I kind of missed everything I'm really bad at aiming so far But never mind I can still kill him Pretty easily the Vendicta is obviously coming for me and is obviously uh, aiming for a ram. Yep, it is indeed going for a ram, but unfortunately, I need to kind of shields up before things get uh, like too crazy. There it goes. Got one kill so far. Didn't get any deaths yet, which is a good sign. Because I don't really get. I, I really need to get used to be aggressive, because. It's kind of legit to be aggressive in a Gravis because among all the Dreadnought classes, Gravis has the highest, you know, defense. I mean, high not the highest defense though. The the Gravis has the highest attack among all uh, Dreadnought classes. Even Jultan, even though it looks big, it, it is actually uh, pretty shallow, the damage. It's not really that high of a damage. There goes my broadsides going in really hard over here and one dreadnought down with the missiles landing on it. Final blow. We got pull loss and the target over here. Marking pull loss as our next target. Plasma broadside going out hot. Pull loss taking damage actually. Alright, oh, pull loss. A supporter is being supported by a supporter. So no wonder I get no... I'm giving it no damage. Put the shields up a little bit because pull loss tend to, you know, give out a pretty big damage. So I think it is a bad idea to try to take out pull loss 
with this damn supporter supporting the supporter. All right, I think I'm about to go down. So uh, without further ado, we are about to walk away, but we didn't make it in time. So actually AI nowadays are pretty badly or possibly because I derp. Most likely I'm derp, but uh, I, I started to get a hang on how to be uh, aggressive in a Gravis. It's still quite hard for me to accept, you know, being Russian in there. Either way, I think I really need armor amplifier at some point get a launcher this is what I do I was hide behind here and I'm launching all the vouchers and just stay there but today we're gonna play some aggressive game so we're gonna rush in the scene and do some damage I should have you know try to try to give more damage to the supporters all right we are landing some serious damage we got assist point all right, shields up. Plasma broadside going in hot. The Corvette is giving me quite some damage. It is a appropriate time for me to warp out because if I don't do so, I'm gonna die. So uh, instead of armor amplifier, I prefer warp. But if you warp at the wrong spot, like what I'm doing right now, I warp at the wrong spot, I will kill myself eventually. So, uh, I don't think I have any mood to, you know, uh, playing around anymore. Let's, let us get serious a little bit in this game. Let's get a little bit more serious, like taking down supporters, for example. Because I realize that supporters is actually the main issue over here. Alright, we're going in. I mean, I rarely use Plasma Broadside, but when I do, it is pretty deadly. Pretty deadly. Plasma Broadside, hot and spicy. Alright, let's get some damage. Unfortunately, we deal no damage, and I am taking in some heavy damage over here, which is not the plan. And I decided to get in the hell out of here because I, I deal enough damage and missiles are coming for me. And yep, actually it's not bad being aggressive. We are going for the Dola over here, which is a pretty tough destroyer. Alright, Dola's going down, it's going down. I mean, I don't remember. I mean, I don't really much remember uh, AI being so aggressive because most of the time AI used to hide behind the scene though and AI artificial intelligence in Dreadnought is getting more intelligent or possibly I'm getting more stupid maybe either way if it is the improvement I would like to say kudos to uh, Grey Box for making uh, for making the AI much more powerful than ever Broadside ballistic gun going in hot, taking down a Corvette. Being aggressive is actually not bad. Not bad. There goes our really aggressive pull loss over here. We are going in full thrust. Ready, guys. Ready. There it goes. All right. This, I really hate this Tesla thing. I mean. Nowadays, AIs know how to band together, which is good news. They know how to stick together right now. The good old days, AIs are, you know, pretty, pretty dumb in some ways. Alright, bad idea. I need to get the crap out of here by whopping out. Oh no, I shouldn't, I shouldn't whop out. It's my fault, my fault, definitely my fault. But I'm gonna go back in there. Oh, Otranto's ramming. Who on earth is Otranto's trying to ram over here? But never mind about that. We are about to win anyways. All right. Assist. It's not what I wanted. I want to be a little aggressive over here. As you see, I'm coming in really hard. Five player kill streak, which is not bad. 
Yo. Yo, you are doing a good job, Fulgora, but not good enough. Vulture missiles out and we win the game for dying two times is actually really embarrassing against artificial I mean artificial intelligent AIs. So um so far my my thoughts about being aggressive is actually not a bad idea. It is indeed a pretty good idea for being aggressive in uh, in Dreadnought. And uh, yeah, I'm I'm liking the idea of being aggressive. I think I should try with the Lorica, by the way, you know what I mean. So yep, that is all for today, guys. If you have any questions or any suggestion that you are willing to share with me, leave a comment down below. Like this video if you like it, dislike this video if you dislike it. Subscribe for more video, and of course, I'm gonna see you in the next video. Adios, guys.